So you wanna go live on Instagram, but you don't wanna use your phone and maybe use a camera for a better clean crystal looking video or some better audio. Maybe you wanna use OBS to switch feeds, use multiple cameras or include some media like a video or show some sort of presentation. Or maybe you wanna have a Zoom call live streamed right out to IG Live. Hang tight, I got you covered. What's going on everyone, Seth Miranda here, last ex-witness on virtually all social media, Twitch, YouTube, Instagram, which is what we're talking about today. That's why I got my IG colored background going on, get us in the mood. Uh, if you don't know who I am though, I am a pro photographer right here in New York City. You may have seen me on some other platforms like Adorama TV or at a trade show doing a workshop or whatever, but this is my personal channel and I shoot live here fairly often, but I also go live a lot on Twitch. So twitch.tv slash last ex-witness, join me there for more of a casual casual discussion, live Q&A. And there's also a photo community there of nerds or just creative people that are keeping each other like ambitious, inspired, share some work, you know, troubleshoot some issues you might be having out there. So it's a 24 seven discussion in my discord, but I would love to have you join uh, my live stream in the chat. So hit me up at twitch.tv slash last X witness. Let's make that happen. All right, but today's discussion is how do we get a feed from a camera like this, a webcam uh, type signal, or maybe even get OBS to do a switcher system out to IG Live. Well, if you need to figure out how to get your camera to be accepted as a video source to your computer for this something like this, I have a video, got the link down below in the description, uh, but pretty much you need to see that video or know how to do that to start doing this. So if you don't know how to get this, to talk to your computer as a video feed, go there. If you're already in that world and you've been streaming to YouTube, Facebook, or Twitch, uh, you're in the right place. So let's get started on what do you need to do to live stream and why is it so hard to do it on Instagram outside of the app? Well, the two things you need to live stream are an RTMP URL or server and a stream key. The RTMP URL is basically where I'm sending my feed to. So my audio and video, my media has to go somewhere for it to stream to that platform, YouTube, Facebook, Twitch, wherever. Once I get that, I also need a stream key so that that server can actually accept the video and audio that I'm sending it, therefore it exists on that platform and people can join in for the live stream. Without those two elements, you really can't live stream and Instagram itself has been like tied to just being a mobile platform that doesn't give you either of those information, if that's even proper English, I apologize. Uh, but pretty much you need to get that and then plug it into some sort of encoder, uh, whether it is OBS or something else. You can't just go live without sending it to a place and having the key to get into that place. Makes sense, right? When you go live on YouTube and Facebook, in fact, let's go over there and take a look at what I'm talking about. Okay, so over here, this is basically YouTube Studio that allows me to set up a live stream. I set up a junk title here just for a test. If I click single use stream key and I go down, I will see that I have my stream key right here, the stream key right here, and I have an RTMP server URL. RTMP basically stands for Real-Time Messaging Protocol, and it's basically an API, which means Application Programming Interface. Uh, that's all stuff you really don't need to care about, but the server URL is the place I'm trying to get the media to. The stream name or stream key is the key that lets me in for it to accept my feed. Now, if I go over to uh, Facebook, I get the same thing, a server URL, and a crazy long stream key, and you copy and paste this into your encoder, OBS, whatever you're using, that's what you use to go live with from another application, okay? But Instagram doesn't really let you do that. When you go live on Instagram, it's through your phone, it's through an iPad, it's a mobile application. There is no desktop uh, application to go live from, at least not at the time of this recording. So you need to find out what that API is. What is my RTMP URL? And what is a stream key I can use to get to the server and actually accept my feed so that when people go to my platform on Instagram, they will see the live feed. Well, I had to find something that was third party and I did a little bit of research and I found one that starts out as free. It gives you three hours per month of streaming time and you can upgrade that to 24 or 19 to $24 a month if you want unlimited time and get rid of the watermark for the service. So let me just take you over to that interface really quick. I'm going to drag this over to here. Let's switch you into the LG monitor really quick. Okay, so let me drag this over here. And now you're looking at their interface on Lula TV, which is a 
third party application that has a nice extension into Google Chrome, the browser. So I'm gonna go into that a little bit because there are some growing pains. You're looking at me on my webcam though, and what does that do? Not much, right? It's the same problem I'm probably having with the quality from my phone or iPad. But if I go down here and I switch to my CamLink 4K, boom, I have a feed coming from my Nikon and you are hearing my voice because I have my RoadGo Lav into my Nikon coming out with my video signal as one signal out of HDMI from the camera to my cam link into my computer. And that's why you're seeing me. You're probably looking at me with a little bit of lag on Lola, but here you're probably looking at me in real time, but that's expected. I mean, you're slinging a thousand different ones and zeros everywhere. There's gonna be some lag. Uh, what's really cool about this is you can tell it what audio feed you want. So if I wanted to include some other routing software like Loopback, I can put in different things like maybe a Spotify account. You can run music while you're talking, all sorts of stuff. But that's through another party app. Maybe I'll do a video on Loopback when I have some time. Uh, but I'm using my CamLink audio, which means it's grabbing this microphone right here. And I can stream this straight out. Now, if you notice, I am landscape view here and when you watch a live stream on instagram on your phone it's vertical it's portrait so we can actually fix that right here on the fly you see what it says 1280 by 720 well i can change that to portrait mode so now you're seeing me in the same frame but just cropped over so now i'm basically the frame that's going to fit on a phone which is great but maybe this isn't enough for you. Maybe you want something that's better than just having a clear video. Maybe you want something that'll let you switch feeds, have multiple cameras. Maybe you're live streaming an event. Maybe you wanna see different views of what's going on in a space or have an interview and have it bounce back and forth. Multiple sources. And how do you do that? Well, you need to get something like OBS involved. But before you get OBS involved, we need to be able to get a feed from OBS out into Instagram world. So over here, right here you see it's clicked on webcam. Well, if I click on RTMP, boom, right there, I get the RTMP server I need and a stream key to get me out to Instagram. So what do I do with this information? Well, we copy and paste this into OBS. I'm gonna drag my OBS settings up here so you guys can see it. So right here, when we go to stream, you put in your server, which is this, I hit copy, I put it in here, it's already in there, paste, you would have it paste in there. Then I need the stream key, so it's the same operation, copy it, paste it into here, and you're good to go. And then once I go to the actual OBS software and hit stream on it, when I see myself up there, I know I'm sending a feed out, but I'm not live on Instagram yet. So if I hit on OBS, I hit start streaming, boom, You'll see that flash player is required. You'll need a flash plugin in order to actually see the feed. It's gonna take a few minutes to get the feed going. And now you're looking at a crazy picture in picture view because I'm streaming my LG monitor with this window up and on there. But if I just switched my feed over to just the Nikon, you will see basically this streamed out. How do we get there though? I'm gonna show you really quick when we go back to the monitor right here on the top right you're looking at the go live button right here. So right now it's receiving my video, but it didn't send me live yet. So this is your preview. You're not live yet. If you were, you'd start seeing this light up with people that are joining your feed. We'd have to hit go live over here for this to work. But if you're having some issues with your video feed going out from OBS to Lola, which I actually had a problem with, you need a few things. One, get the Lula TV extension for Google Chrome. Get the Instagram extension for Google Chrome and make sure you have Flash Player enabled and able to work with Lula TV. On top of that, your OBS settings have to get dialed down because Instagram can't use 1080 as a feed. That's too much resolution for Instagram to send out live apparently. And Lula will just send you live for a split second and you'll crash. So let me take you over to the settings that I've been using. That way you guys can check it out. Let's go over to the LG monitor and let me drag over my settings. So right here in the output, I'm making sure that my profile goes out as main, not high. And I'm also making sure that the resolution is set to 1280 by 720. 
Uh, right now I'm physically streaming and recording, so it's gonna be grayed out. I can't change it as I'm doing this, but you'll have options to change your settings, uh, your resolution, I should say, and just make sure it's on 720 by 1280. Make sure that your profile is set to main, and I put my tune to zero latency, and you should be okay. If there's other issues, check their uh, support page on Lula TV. They do have a pretty good uh, FAQ section if you are having issues with it receiving the feed that you're putting out there. There could be a million variables from hardware to software and everything in between, and uh, who knows what the issue could be for you, but they did thoroughly go through what it could be. So check that out on lulatv.tv, I should say, uh, support page. Okay, so let's stream this out to Instagram and see what it looks like. Keep in mind that I don't have the ability to do portrait mode when I go into RTMP. So while I was able to go into my webcam, let's go over here really quick. While I was able to go and scale this to be like this on my webcam, I'm not able to do that on here. Basically what's happening right now is I'm not able to scale it so that it's vertical for a phone. And that means I'm gonna have to do that in OBS. And let me show you what that's gonna look like. Pretty much like this. Uh, I took my logo out. So everything that's in black pretty much won't be streamed. Uh, you're going to have black on top and bottom. Uh, Cause remember you're taking a landscape feed and you're pretty much putting it down into a vertical feed. So it's going to be just like a rectangle this big on your phone. Just keep that in mind, okay? And also keep that in mind if you're gonna screen share something. So let's screen record that and hopefully this works out for the better. Okay, so I'm gonna get set to go live. You can see that now we have a red button here on the top right, go live, where basically everything's enabled. I have taken the Instagram logo right here and I've plugged in my information for that. And now we're just gonna send this out but the feed that they're gonna see first is going to be this one. So let's send this live. Okay, so I should be live on Instagram right now, and you guys are watching me. So I'm watching people join me right now, and I'm also able to see a live chat on Lula's studio interface, and I can watch them come up and down. You actually see it. You can actually move around what you're doing on OBS. So I can actually move my screen up if I feel like I'm getting too many comments over my face. I can also do some crazy things like, I don't know, switch it over to this screen. And if I go to LG2, boom, you can see that I am live streaming uh, my LG monitor and I can show a presentation, but I also have to be mindful of where I am on the screen. And I have to put myself somewhere that you could see me on the live. So when I'm watching this back, I can easily see that I'm cropped like crazy. You can see that there's some craziness going on right now. Uh, and people are just joining me on, this, on the uh, live stream. And you can do this super clean, really crystal clear. And you just have to remind yourself where you are as far as the aspect ratio. Remember, you're going to be cropped because it's basically taking a slice out of a landscape to make a vertical and you're gonna have a bunch of black around you. Uh, there is a watermark down below, lula.tv. So all you people that are joining me on my live, you're gonna be in a YouTube video. Congratulations, you're now on my YouTube channel, you're special guests. Uh, so this is a really cool way to just show a presentation or even play a video or just show some uh, images or just get multiple feeds. And I'm doing it just through OBS. I can use a stream deck and I can just go like this back to my Nikon and now you're just seeing me on my Nikon. If I wanna go back to the presentation, boom, back to the presentation. And it's pretty much, that's as easy as it gets, right? Uh, when you start getting uh, cleaner feeds and things are more audible and crystal clear, people tune in more and it raises what your uh, content is. The production value means a lot nowadays. There's a lot of people saturating platforms out there and every little edge uh, means something. So don't sleep on this. I'm going to throw this back on here so you guys can see. Basically, this is the preview view that you're looking at on the screen cache for my LG, but this is what it looks like on Instagram. I'm gonna overlay this so you guys are hopefully looking at it the right way. I don't know how else to do this. What's going on, Raul? What's going on, Small Field Tom? What's going on, Blink and Miss? Everybody, welcome to my IG. And I'm able to do this with this third-party app. Uh, if you want to get a little bit more involved in this, it will cost you 19 to $24 a month to get rid of the watermark and get some other features in there. But there are some cons to this. Let me uh, cut off this and I'll show you guys. Actually, no, I won't cut this off. So there's some of the issues you're gonna have is nobody that's talking to me right now can actually join me. So if you wanna do that request to share a live stream where it splits the screen, 
It's not an option. It doesn't happen. So you're going to have to figure out a way to do that. And that's where I figured out a way to get Zoom calls to live stream onto Instagram as well. If you want to have a clean feed from two people talking uh, via video call, or maybe even have just a talking head, two people talking, whatever, uh, you're able to do that. So this is pretty cool. I figured I'd find a way to share with you guys. And that way I can make a video and you guys can do it as well if you wanted to. I think it's important that we get our live stream games up, especially right now. So uh, stay tuned for this video. If you're watching me on Instagram, uh, you can drive, write me a comment that you are on my uh, on this live feed. The only thing I would say that there's a major con about this is it's a little unstable. It has quit on me a couple of times. It depends on the feed you're giving into it. Sometimes it's too much for Instagram to take it. And not to mention, you don't get all the features you get on IG Live. When you go live on your phone or your, in, or your iPad, you can pull up images, you can have them show up. You can pull up those question stickers and actually answer them live. Or you can actually um, get someone to join you, like I said, for a video call. There's a few things you can do. The dumb little filters, I guess, as well. But I don't mind that. As long as I can do uh, switching feeds, I can show images if I want. I can just go ahead and move this over to here and I go to LG and now you're looking at an image and I'm sharing whatever I want, moving around however I want, but you have to keep in mind uh, the scale of it, right? Because you're not gonna fit everything on a phone feed. And the best way to do that is basically make sure you have a 16 by nine vertical as a template on OBS so you know where your crop lines are and what goes out to the live feed. I know for, I know for a fact that right now they're not looking at everything I'm looking at, but it is an option out there. Uh, you're gonna have to play with it, placement. Remember, OBS is just a bunch of layers that you slap on top of each other and scale and move around till you put out a scene that is one cohesive image for people to look at. Okay, I'm gonna cut this IG live now. We're gonna switch over to a Zoom call and show you how that works. And that's pretty much uh, this interface. Let's do that. Okay, so let's set up a Zoom video call and stream it out. And you're able to live stream video calls on Zoom if you have a paid subscription, which I do. So let's go over to the LG monitor and I am going to uh, just show you the interface really quick and how to set up a video call to be live streamed. So here we are, I am inside Zoom, and this is before I invite anyone over, and I'm gonna call up Daniel Norton in a minute just to have him do a test call, we'll, we'll screen capture that live stream. But right down here in the bottom with the three dots, you hit the more button, and you'll see live on Facebook, live on Workplace by Facebook, live on YouTube, and live on custom live streaming services, which is the one I always click, even if it's going to Facebook or YouTube, I click that, and it takes me over to Zoom's webpage where it allows me to put in the information we were talking about this whole video, the RTMP URL, the stream key, which we have from Lola TV as well. We plug that in and now it's asking me for a third thing, which is the live stream page URL. And all that means is what's the web page that you're streaming it to? And that's basically Instagram. So I'm gonna go to myinstagram.com slash last X witness, copy, go over to here, paste, and after I paste in all the other information that we have from Lola, and don't forget this just sends it to a preview. You still have to hit go live in Lula's interface. This just sends you the feed out to Lula to then relay it to Instagram. We will be able to go and send this video call live to Instagram. So let's call up Daniel Norton and see what he's up to and screen capture that video call. I'm sorry, Dan. So we're live. You can see that we're cropped. Oh, I'm gonna mute this. So see. you can see that we're cropped on either side. So if I move over. Hold on, I'll just do this. Dan moves over towards me. There we go. Look at that, he's so smart. Move the camera. So now we're both we're hey, in there. However, we can switch over to speaker view. Oh. And now you guys will see, if you go to the middle, Dan, as I talk, I'm prominent. Then when Dan talks. I'm prominent. So it flashes back and forth between both of us. Yeah, that's pretty it's a cool. little weird, sure. But you can cool. figure it out. And if you go back to gallery view, you'll notice that we're cropped underneath us. And then the people writing comments will actually not block anybody's face. So if you're doing something that involves um, talking to somebody and you don't have a top and bottom fee like Instagram usually does, you will not have so, so many people blocking the comments. Uh, I'm sorry, the comments will be blocking the person, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> yeah, this is pretty cool. All right. Yeah, man. Uh, don't forget to follow yeah. Daniel Norton, a Daniel Norton photographer on his YouTube for more crazy stuff. 
And yeah, we're, we actually are live. So people are watching us. So if you're yeah, on yeah. Instagram live and you're commenting, you're now on my YouTube channel. Congratulations. <laughs> That's right. So it's also going to depend on the stream, the video call health, right? So if Dan's having a, a internet issues like he's having, we're, he's going to freeze a little bit. Just like I would. So I'm freezing. All right. Yeah. All right, Dan, thanks so much. Uh, I'm going to cut this call, cut the live stream. Cool, cool, cool. Thanks, Seth. All right, so uh, check out Daniel Norton, photographer on basically everything. And let's go back to this video that I'm trying to piece together like Frankenstein right now. <laughs> <laughs> so pretty cool, right? Lula TV, Lola TV, I'm not sure how you say it. They definitely didn't sponsor this video. I, I don't even know how to pronounce their name. So check it out. You get about three hours of streaming time for free. And if you want to get more features, get rid of the watermark and some other things, you can pay for the other subscriptions, which start about $19 a month and go up from there. So check out the pricing plans. And if you're having any more issues, don't hesitate to check their support page. There's a lot of things that could go wrong here between what operating system you're using, what you're feeding into it, your resolutions, frame rates, all sorts of things. So just check there if you're having issues. I'll try to help you out if you want to write a comment with anything you think you're having a problem with. I'll try to help you out the best I can, but I just scratched the surface on this and who knows where it can go. It's just a pretty cool service. If you want to check out some more videos about how to do live streaming, including stuff like how to set up lighting and all this other stuff, I will put up some clicky boxes thingies at the end of this video or hit some links down below. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, and join me on Twitch at Last X Witness. Don't forget to hit subscribe and the bell so you can get notified when more videos like this come out. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace.